Ray Biotech offers a diverse catalog of antibody arrays for multiplex protein detection. In this presentation, I'll guide you in identifying the right antibody array for your research. Let's quickly review the different types of antibody arrays at Ray Biotech. Both Quantibody and Rayplex are multiplex ELISA platforms that produce quantitative data. That is, the protein concentrations are determined with these arrays. The difference between Quantibody and Rayplex is that the substrate for Quantibody is glass, while the Rayplex substrate is microbeads. Relative fold changes of protein expression levels can be determined with all of our other arrays. Our sandwich-based antibody arrays include G-series and C-series. Our label-based antibody array is L-series. Finally, we have phosphorylation arrays and glycome arrays for studying post-translational modifications. Quantibody, G-series, and L-series arrays have high-density options where hundreds to thousands of proteins can be profiled simultaneously. To learn more about how antibody arrays are made, how they work, and their advantages, click on the links provided below. When choosing the appropriate array, there are five criteria to consider. Your research objective, the type of data you need, how much sample you have, the instruments you have access to, and your budget. We will discuss each in more detail in the following slides. First, what is your research objective? If you're analyzing post-translational modifications like phosphorylation or glycosylation, we have specific antibody arrays for those applications. Our other arrays are intended to profile total proteins. If you know the proteins or the specific biological process that you want to target, then smaller, more focused arrays would be appropriate, like Quantibody, Rayplex, G-Series, and C-Series. If you want to perform large-scale protein profiling or biomarker screening, then try our high-density arrays that include Quantibody, G-Series, and L-Series. L-Series is our highest density antibody array, which makes it a perfect solution for biomarker discovery studies. Data from L-Series arrays should be validated using an orthogonal platform. For example, you could identify biomarker candidates with the L-Series array and then analyze those candidates using a custom quantibody array or Western blot. Second, what type of data do you need? Do you need quantitative data where the protein concentrations are determined? If so, there are two options, Quantibody and Rayplex. Most researchers who don't need quantitative data need to know the relative protein expression levels across samples, which is considered semi-quantitative data. G-series, C-series, and L-series arrays provide semi-quantitative data. Qualitative data, or signals that are simply assessed by eye, are possible with our C-series array. Here are images of our C-series array incubated with samples undergoing two different treatments. It is clear that the protein I'm highlighting here and printed in duplicate is more highly expressed with treatment B than treatment A. However, it is impossible to determine accurately the full differences between them by eye. Third, how much sample do you have? For samples other than serum and plasma, the original protein concentration should be at a minimum 1 mg per milliliter. However, protein concentrations over 2 mg per milliliter are preferred to obtain higher signal-to-noise ratios. If you are screening 40 or fewer proteins at a time and have less than 75 microliters per sample, then Quantibody, Rayplex, and G-Series arrays should be used. If you have more than 75 microliters, then C-series arrays are also an option. If you are screening more than 40 targets at a time and have less than 75 microliters, then the L-series array may be appropriate. If you have more than 75 microliters, then you could also use Quantibody, Rayplex, G-series, and C-series arrays. If you want to process the arrays yourself, which instruments can you access? For glass slides, you will need a compatible laser scanner. The scanner should be able to hold a standard glass slide, be able to detect Psi 3 fluorescence, have a resolution of at least 20 microns, have a dynamic range of at least three orders of magnitude, and create a TIFF image of the scan. Antibody arrays with a glass substrate include Quantibody, G-Series, 
L-series, phosphorylation array, and glycome array. Membrane-based arrays with chemiluminescent signals can be detected using any instrument that works with a western blot. Arrays with a membrane substrate include C-series, L-series, and the phosphorylation array. Our bead-based rayplex array is compatible with any flow cytometer equipped with blue and red lasers. If you don't have the appropriate instrumentation, then we can scan and extract the data for you. Free scanning and data extraction for all Ray Biotech glass slides are available at our Georgia location. Or you can send your samples to us and we'll do everything for you as part of our full testing services. Finally, what is your budget? If your budget is limited, then the most affordable option is processing and analyzing pre-made arrays yourself. Also, glass-based arrays are our most cost-effective option since they require the smallest amount of antibodies. Semi-quantitative array options are less expensive than quantitative arrays. It is important to note that researchers who need quantitative data but have a limited budget can still use quantitative arrays. They can do this by minimizing the number of samples and choosing an in-stock array with a small number of protein targets. If you have a moderate to high budget, more options are available. For example, you can send your samples in for full testing services, and we can help analyze your data with our biostatistics and bioinformatics services. We can produce a custom array for you, and you can get any type of data you want. The minimum number of biological replicates is three. With a higher budget, you can get more accurate data with more biological replicates. If you have any questions about our antibody arrays, or need assistance with selecting an antibody array for your study, please visit our website at www.raybiotech.com or email us at info at raybiotech.com.